the higher seed that second place and, oh yeah both the bird <laughs> as they say spell. <laughs> sorcery speed so Paolo still pursuing oh, no. turn one elf and then turn two elvish mystic into oath of Nissa. Nissa. the top three creature or land and just look at the chat there <laughs> so guys don't forget to like and share this stream we we'll definitely appreciate it this stream is brought to you by top deck games why about ang fgc karon game it's magic yeah magic and i think i've fixed the glare a bit yeah it's good it, it should look better now Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, a Karn. Oh, Karn the Great Creator. So, Karn is actually a huge MVP in this matchup because... Yeah, can't um, through anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, the deck, the name of the Caps deck is Boros Vehicle. So, <laughs> they're mostly have activated abilities. Uh, the vehicle. No more vroom vroom. Yeah, so I'm very unfortunate. But the good thing is... Uh, Caps doesn't have any... Vehicles yet? He can, and he can card. He can't activate it yet. Oh, so right now he's just drawing cards uh, yeah. off of these uh, vehicles. Oh wait, what? Oh no. Uh, I don't. You can't. No I think. Oh no. Uh, waste opportunity right there from Caps. It's really bad. Now he can uh, opt to. Get another card from the sideboard. Yeah. Uh, turn one, bolt the bird in action. There's the Nissa, uh, as we predicted. And he's definitely gonna Ooh. turn that Dark Steel Citadel, which is a good blocker. Maybe you should opt to stick up the Citadel <laughs> and just kill it. <laughs> of course, we're not gonna see that. Blunder, and I think this is the second time that uh, Paulo and Caps has met in the top eight. Last time uh, he went up uh, against Winota, Winota and Winota, yeah. Orzov Auras. Yeah. That was a that was such a blooper of a match. <laughs> so, uh, Paulo won that match, right? Mm, yeah, he won <laughs> because he got so lucky with the top deck. Um, he was able to pull it off. Oh, wait oh, a minute. What uh, I didn't see what Paolo. Paolo, what's that? Oh, I need to update the, <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> the database. It should be quick. But basically, armed armor turns these uh, all vehicles. All yeah, all the vehicles into creatures. Creatures, and he's gonna float three mana from the colossal dread cloud <laughs> and gain three life. <laughs> hmm. What? Hey, what are they activate? Someone's a spell. I have more pictures among the vehicles. Yes, yes, I hope I can activate. Triggered ability, man, Diliman activated. And Paolo is trying to avoid the Embercleave. Mali mo, my Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> <laughs> hey Rick, welcome to the stream. Yes, Caps, Guapo. Definitely agree. Then, this is very crucial because now he was able to deal with the Karn. Uh, but very unfortunate as we look at the deck list from Caps. Uh, he only has one copy of Armed and Armored. So, and yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Paolo is well aware of this because this is an open deck list. Uh, 
in the top eight. Two gods. Oh, two yeah, crap exemplar. Wow, what was the second card in Monge Wish? Uh, so. oh, okay, okay. Right, He's right. got his own. <laughs> okay. He's got his own boat. Probably He's coming in. The last turn for Shram. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna kill uh, Shram with a strike when it's going to back to, back to his turn. Another <laughs> tool craft. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now he has a bunch of bolt uh, on a stick. <laughs> yeah, he can he can also throw the I know the dread plow as well. And the next turn, he probably throw in the ember cleave, <laughs> so he can take care of the Nissa. Because the the dreadnought, it's either the dreadnought or the ano, uh, the dread plow. Uh, because the dread plow can float three white. Then you can just hard cast the number <laughs> It would be lethal out of nowhere. Uh, it'll give him seven. That's fourteen damage if unblocked. Yeah, but he's a lot of creatures on board. Okay, it's gonna float two mana here. Follow's turn. Nissa is still a prominent threat. On Paolo's side. Yeah, always has been. Yeah. Hello, Elmer. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the tag as well to Mr. Patrick Valbuena. Shout out to you. So, Wolf Willow is now gonna be enchanted onto the forest, which then floats three because when it taps for mana, it's gonna add ad it's additional so green. green. So, we now have 15 viewers. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, for those who are new, we are showcasing our Pioneer League Season 7. This is the top 8. I think it was uh, Sir Henry Lopez from Minano Esports Organization. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. But this seems to be a very uh, interesting match right now as Caps is, uh, even though with the Nissa on Paolo's side, Caps is still on the lead because of the fact that he has two exemplars, uh, which can cause uh, a lot of threat on the board. Ooh, old growth troll. Another new card from Kaldheim, which is adding lots of devotion here. And he already has Nyctos. My god. And, and he hasn't activated Nyctos yet. Yeah, and he I has think. two floating still. <laughs> Good lord. Actually, you can double float with Nyctos mm. by untapping it, like making it a creature. Mm. Yes, and finally, we have Paolo. Thank you for the follow, brother. Definitely appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Also, do the mono green ramp run Ugin? Mm -hmm. okay. You can ramp to Ugin. Um, I'm not sure if he's playing Ugin, though, because it, it's very. Uh... Yeah, it, it kills Nisa. It kills anything. Everything. <laughs> with the board. <laughs> Yeah, looking at Paolo's deck list, uh, I don't think he plays any Ugin. Because he needs to focus on. Uh, Ma uh, Mr. Robert, the format is Pioneer. Yes, uh, Pioneer is the format. Uh, we're going to have Modern soon, uh, next week. Because so we're going to have uh, another league. Season 6 is coming up on its way. Modern. And we have an online integration, which means. You have a chance to join if you're very interested. The league uh, is basically one month of a round robin with all the players, and then we cut the top eight for the following week. So he's making oh, eight, eight mana eight from mana. the Nyctos. Trying the next. I wonder what he's casting. <laughs> I guess he's gonna make a big hydra. Okay, oh, okay. he's just cast just to kill. So. Okay, now Paolo is slowly uh, climbing back onto the board and a second Ooh, card second oh. card that's breaking yeah that's very hard and now you can have to get another card from the sideboard probably a god bearer statue mm -hmm. it's a very good option just to lock really out uh, adds two more to opponent right mm. two mana <laughs> yeah. and then pings every end step <laughs> Yep. And currently make it a creature. Now yeah, it's a six turned six. into a six six. <laughs> <laughs> As, that used to be one of my favorite interactions in standard. In standard before, yeah. yeah I when saw Karn was still legal. 
<laughs> and then just lock down the opponent and then just b- beat down. <laughs> yeah, arena attorneys as well. Uh, Sir Paulo, unfortunately, we do not have, I know, we do not have events anymore for arena because Tencent does not allow us <laughs> to host arenas, uh, arena events. We can do them for free, but uh, there is a not. Oh my god, he passed the turn and forgot to activate Karn right there. Very unfortunate. It's like uh, Paulo was a little bit overwhelmed with <laughs> his new board state. Yeah. And he could crew the Anodiba. Uh, I think it's it's for three. Yeah. yeah. Two for three. Yeah, I can crew using the Dark Steel Citadel or the Old Growth Troll. Our judges say mana dorks and land piles are not allowed. Uh, what about there? I don't. Yeah, it should be the norm. I, I don't get the question. Because you you should put the mana drops in front. Ah, so that you okay, can, okay. You don't hide them so that the opponent can still count how many creatures you have. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, we could we could actually do that. Paolo, can you please put your dork in front? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. creature, yeah, para makita. Okay, thank you. Because that incident with uh, Gabriel Nasif missing out on lethal because there was an uh, drive there was a four. On, on the, the back on the mana oh, inside the land okay okay he missed oh. on did you hear yeah. that uh, Carlo where, wherever you are <laughs> ayaw lagi i-butang sa likod ang creatures <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, uh, we, we, for those who do not know we have a player here who likes to play uh, his lands in front <laughs> in front of the board instead not of the naturally creatures. though just forcing it yeah <laughs> <laughs> So it's gonna go in with two exemplars. So he might have to. Uh, that's not a good attack. Because maybe it is. Uh, it, it's just like a, a desperate move because now he's signaling a uh, an ember cleave. But is it oh, enough to oh, discount? Uh, how, discount? How big is the throne? Is it throne? Four. A four, four. Yeah, an ember cleave would kill that. But does he have enough mana? I don't think so. Yeah, he needs one more. Uh, if he had Maybe another he attacker, <laughs> then that would have been. Yeah, if he had another attacker or another man. I think that was a bit bad attack there sometimes. Because he can't kill. Uh, he can't kill the old growth troll. If he has. Burn spells. To just trying to make sure that the citadel is indestructible. It's not gonna die off of combat damage. Man, this is tough for cups at this point. And this is why the devotion is such a very powerful mid-range deck. It can just turn around even though it's behind on board. As long as it has uh, ways to produce a lot of mana. And there you go. There's the Lurus though. To go down to 18 from the battlefield forge. Ugh. What about the planes? Let's see. Blind. Uh, we can check here on our side. Wow, a lot of mana. Gonna produce eight mana. And wait, 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 wait. Nanlan. Nanlan. <laughs> this isn't modern, Paolo. <laughs> it's not modern. <laughs> but still, it's killing it's, a little Yeah, little it's pretty still, cool. still pretty good. Meteor Golem is also one of my favorite cards. You took that from the sideboard. Yeah, that's the card you took. Oh, that, that, this turn, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. What does the plus the minus two of Karn again? Artifact only or colorless spell? Artifact. Okay, good. Uh, from exile, <laughs> from exile, or from. An ulamang. Yeah. Paliyog po ko sa Nictos. Botang sa front. Thanks. <laughs> there you go. Now it's looking good. Uh, a little bit uh, funky on Paolo side, but he loves it. He has a lot of power on the board. You could go in for a lot of damage. And the. And 
this is technically a very bad matchup because right now the yep gonna go next game <laughs> Okay, there's a turn one. Dreadnoughts. Can, Can we, we get an ox? Can we see the, the cow? The cow. Is it coming? Oh, yeah! Okay, no, not yet, not yet. The it's the dread plow. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Willow Haven, uh, but Paolo, very off a slow start. No, yeah, no turn one door. No door, but he has a second Wolf Willow Haven, so he can definitely ramp up again in the next turn without worrying about losing. To, I know, without losing to removal, but I think uh, Light of Hope can still be a very good card here. <laughs> Whoa! What? Whoa! Right, oh, right off the bat, he's gonna attack. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that is only <laughs> like ultra <laughs> Oh, okay. Ooh, the motorist. Try. Try to. <laughs> Taps not pulling around. Bottom no boat. Bottom boat. That was a good turn for him. <laughs> and he's gonna lose the two mana at the cleanup. Yeah, that was a very good turn. <laughs> Paolo down to seven. There's the Nyctos, but only one devotion on board. I can still put a Wolf Willow Haven, then... You could add a card. Yeah, I can cast a card now. But it'd still be vulnerable to the yeah, motorist. Just doesn't, just pick it up. There's oh. the Oath of Nyssa. Oh no. <laughs> That's a good card. There's a card though, but they can't cast it this turn. Not yet. Uh, that three, I believe. Oh, he brought in the... I uh, know. The test and petitioner, so he's gonna gain three, four. That's actually pretty good. Okay. I never thought that the card would actually work pretty well here in this situation. But well, here we are. Still good. There's the battlefield torch. Gonna attack with just the motorist. Gonna take three. Capture is just gonna pass the turn. He's already down to two cards. So now Paolo can play Arn here if he wants. That's two. Wolf Willow. Ah, he has a lot of devotion now. Ooh, Ooh okay. Voracious Hydra. I think he's gonna fight it. And uh, there goes the motorist. Oh, a three fourth. <laughs> oh, what the? What oh, the hell? The storm breath dragon. Storm breath dragon. <laughs> and oh, and Paolo is just opening his eyes. <laughs> okay, it looks like Caps is back in the game. It has haste, right? Yeah. <laughs> Down to four. <laughs> and the funny thing is, the Hydra does not have reach. <laughs> now, Paolo is at the back of his seat. Uh, he needs to find a way to deal with the dragon. <laughs> Another wolf, Willow Haven, onto the ship. That's gonna add one more. Yeah, he can. Still his turn? Yep, still his turn. He's gonna produce 8 mana. Arn. Oh, okay. So he says he's short because he doesn't have enough mana for... Oh, no. Uh, he doesn't have enough mana for Meteor Golem mm -hmm. to permanently deal with his Storm Breath Dragon. <laughs> the sideboard's finally paying oh, off. Heart of okay, that's, that? that's pretty good. I think Heart of Kiran will be Okay, that's what no, that, yeah. no, that can block. <laughs> it's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, six but, but now, Caps has an opportunity. If the if the sideboard comes out, oh, this yeah. is pretty much over. <laughs> Does he have it? Did he add it in? 
can't prove the vehicle because Karn is still on the field. He just needs to upgrade the <laughs> the stone coil. That's all he needs to do. Veteran motorist, so which means he doesn't have it. Woo! That too, that too, but uh, if Paolo untaps, then he, he can definitely do Oh no, it's gonna pass the turn! Oh <laughs> uh, now he can get the Meteor Golem and deal with the Storm Breath Dragon. And he's gonna play Oath of Nyssa first to see if he can get a Nyssa. <laughs> Who shakes the world? But the Storm Breath Dragon is still waiting. <laughs> Just waiting for one more turn. Question is can he survive? Gonna produce nine mana. And there's the golem. Taking care of the Storm Breath Dragon. A Heart of Kiran for extra protection. Wow, he's attacking with both. Looks like he's trying to close this out real fast. So now he just needs to catch as an opportunity here to draw in a Glory Bringer. <laughs> Another one of his haste creatures. Oh my god! I told god you did it! I had We're going to a game three! I have yes. faith in you! Yes! He scribed it off the top! Or did he? Two doubles, multi burning tree, and an extra that you sold that. He just needs two burning trees and then an extra. And there it is. Yeah, yeah, Turn yeah, one, sky, uh, dreadnoughts. Oh my god, is he it's gonna pull it off? Is he, is he gonna pull it off? It looks like it. No, oh. no, no, no. It's the wolf will. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh but that's good, that's really good. good. Okay, third. that's better. For sometimes a braid can be more flexible uh, in other matchups. Now because three might matter instead of two. What did he reveal? What did he reveal? Nisa! Oh, okay. There's the Nisa. It's probably gonna come down and turn three. Yee! <laughs> possible eight man next turn. That's the play, Caps. Armored, oh, okay. armored. Not a very good turn for your Caps here. Oh, and he's just gonna take it. did multiply so i think uh, let me just bring it up here but now paolo is gonna go in spend five mana probably gonna put the nissa i think nissa is still a very good planeswalker in pioneer now that the uru's gone and the has gone yeah like nissa used to be so good in standard everyone did with gay yeah <laughs> it's a threat like like back when oh my god <laughs> to the vivian uh, uh land to front. Creature lands to front. Yeah, creatures you have to be in the front. Nag request man gidang viewers. Two 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 counters. One cheater. Wait, two two counters to me, but Yeah, there it is. There's the wild slash. That's gonna prevent the wish next turn. And Magda, okay been a while since we've seen that card finally gets to show up uh it's basically a dwarf legendary dwarf that ramps you up it's a very good synergy because it makes the dwarves uh give plus one yeah when they when you crew they they basically behind and board let's do three mana and then but he can't fetch though 
but Vivian is still a uh, very potent threat to make the creatures big. And that's their car, no. Uh, yikes. <laughs> I don't know how Krabs is going to get away with this, at least the battle. Oh my god, Meteor Golem as well. I was going to take care of the Magda or the Dreadnought. And he's going to pick up with Vivian and this one. And he's going to untap, put three counters. Three counters. Yeah, three counters on the forest. This is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Sure. But I, well, we can't blame Caps because uh, basically five, multi five, yeah. such a big gun. Probably could have multi four. Had uh, this here turn there. Gonna go in for three, six. Now Twelve. Come on, Caps, what can you do? <laughs> What's up, <laughs> mga haters? Starlook, let's go. Oh, and there's the win! <laughs> there's the concession, and Paolo moves on to the semifinals. Congratulations. Sayang, sayang, sayang. Sayang talaga for Caps, but... Uh, yeah, that game one could have been... Uh, could have, another yeah, way. could have had a, a chance there from that game to blunder which happened it basically happened last time as well in the same matchup uh Winota and Orzov out of where Paolo almost lost the game 